This is the Parasound HCA3500. Very high quality amplifier. It is stereo amplifier, but it is said to be a bi mono block design in one box. It is designed by John Curl, very famous people. And actually, he designed a um, full up version mono block which is Parasound JC-1 uh, based on this uh, amplifier. Um, so I did a comparison between this one and the JC-1 monoblock. They are very much the same except for some um, details. So I'll show you later on how I did the um, upgrade and to make this amplifier pretty much comparable to the to two JC-1 model block, which cost probably around ten thousand dollars, and it was a um, stereophile class A. A rated uh, amplifier. Here I put together the schematic of the HCA3500 and the JC-1 side by side and particularly mark the differences and actually edit the modification. The first point is the uh, feedback resistor 47K and uh, 1K to ground. Originally it was a Vichy resistor, so I replaced it with a Helco as what they did in the JC-1. So this is a significant improvement in terms of the detail sounding and everything. Um, as you can see, the beauty of th these two amplifiers, they're very much the same if you look the details of the circuitry, um, is John adopted the uh, MOSFET and JFET for uh, kind of a tube-like sounding, very nice sounding amplifier. And another area, major differences between the two is the power supply session. If you look at the 3500 and in the main power supply decoupling cabs, there's lots of parallels duplications. And actually, that is no good. So um, I think John recognized that as well. And he did something in his uh, JC1 amplifier, simplify the decoupling capacitor, remove a lot of duplications. And this is another area tend to improve the imaging and sound stage of the amp because um, duplication of these um, capacitors cause some resonances because each per capacitor they are not not ideal capacitor they have series inductance and series resistance and all the duplication make the inductance and the capacitance and make multiple resonances uh, at um, multiple frequencies. That is definitely not uh, preferred. And another area even more important, I think, is the um, the uh, high voltage supply for the, for the, I call it um, pre-amplification session. 
So this power supply basically they have a regulator and they have a Zener diode in series. These are all okay, but you can see again they use a lot of uh, duplicated capacitors. And most importantly, because the voltage is quite high, about a hundred volts here, and the, they they save the money to use two sixty three volts in series, and this is definitely a no go. One thing is, uh, normally capacitor in series won't really give you the double voltage. Uh, performance and the uh, transient response could be easily exceed the, the, the voltage of the single rated 63. It could be easily at the full voltage swing. And uh, secondly, also the most important thing is, um, as I mentioned earlier, each of these capacitors, they have their own series inductance and they have cross contamination and resonances make it even worse and this supply rail is very very critical for the sounding of the amp it's even more critical than this this is the current application the final stage um so this is a kind of less sensitive this is more sensitive and become more important and you can see when he did in the jc1 he actually uses single capacitor no longer duplicate all these things and he used a high voltage capacitor but lower value like 220 microfarad here he was using 2000 some microfarad so actually you don't need that high volt uh, high uh, capacitance but a single capacitor with higher voltage definitely much much better um so this is another area improved and of course similarly at the uh, after the rectifier in this voltage reel you can see similarly you know a lot of duplication and the new version actually make it much simpler um basically just a single capacitor decoupling capacitor um so this is um Another area I did the modification is simplify, remove a lot of the duplication of these, make it very simple, just keep the very large capacitance, and then with the 100 microfarad in parallel, and then with a, a say 0.1 microfarad in parallel film, film capacitor, that's enough. And um, here session, same thing, I remove all these and replace with a single high voltage of 120 volts, um, 2200 microfarad capacitor without these uh, series uh, capacitance and uh, in parallel with a um, film capacitor, 0.1 microfarad film capacitor. And here similarly, I did similar thing. So it's slightly, you know, I use another in parallel, another in parallel film capacitor, and I use a larger value. So, so it's slightly even better than the JC1, I believe, because this, they use 220, it's okay. But I think the main idea here is to save the cost. And similar here, I use a single capacitor and remove a, lo a lot of the redundancies. And you can see in, in the JC1, they still keep the two series, even though the, uh, John has uh, simplified the circuitry by removing a lot of duplication here, but he, he's still using a two in series. This is, this is I think, again, no good because the series inductance in this path and series inductance in this path cause a lot of cross resonances and, and multiple frequencies. And that's definitely no no good. But in anyhow, uh, the stereo file uh, rated the JC1 very highly rated, and you know, consider it's the bad, one of the best uh, amplifier. And of course, the 30, 3500, the stock 
amp was also very well reviewed by Stereophile and um, it mentioned some um, kind of a edginess, they call it, at the mid-range and high range, which are cost, you know, in those feedback resistor as well as the power supply. So I, after I did this, I have never feel any of those uh, edginess they mentioned. And this is a perfect amplifier if you can do these modifications. And it's very simple. It's uh, kind of a um, low cost modification because the majority of work is really removing component than adding components. So this is the, the, the modification I think everybody probably like. Um, so we can open up the top uh, cover to take a look. Um, by the way, it is a um, hack screw, uh, high quality screws, and um, uh, the the um, I think I need to use. Uh, so here is how it looks like uh, after you open up the end. Um, the front, you can see the. Um, Toyota um, transformer, huge. This is uh, like a 1.5 thousand watt kind of transformer, and the supply the two monoblock design. Very very nice heat sink for the two channels, and you can see the second transistors audio transistors used in each channel so it's about uh, eight transistor in each trans each channel very high quality construction and these are the capacitors for the main voltage supply very again very high quality uh, Nishika Japanese capacitor so I mentioned earlier that we did the resistor upgrade so uh, the feedback resistor basically is located located in here and um, you can, uh, you know, basically do, do replace the resistor. Not too difficult, uh, even without removing this uh, board. It's just a little, you know, you need to a small uh, compact uh, iron to work on it. And then the next thing I mentioned we did is uh, simplify the, the decoupling capacitors. And this is what I did. You see a much higher voltage capacitor used here. Oh, here you can see the 250 watts uh, a volt, uh, 220 microfarad. So we uh, use a high voltage so we don't have to do, originally they do two capacitor in theory. This is no good, as I mentioned, you know, there's lots of uh, resonances and a lot of duplication of these capacitors. I only leave some field capacitor wherever needed. So remove the redundant uh, field capacitors. And similarly on the, um, the large one as well. So use the uh, high quality uh, capacitor and high voltage capacitor in place of those um, duplications um, so basically if you're handy I, I highly recommend you do those um, uh, upgrade and it's really helpful make the amp sounds very extremely nice and once you have this amp I don't think you will have any motivation to buy a, another high cost amp or whatever because this construction and the components used 
it definitely did the very best grid and it's capable of everything you know single-ended input balance input and the dual speaker output you can do by wire um very nice amp so if you have questions just post in the uh, comment area and i will try to follow up and uh, answer thank you very much enjoy bye